All right, welcome to episode number two from our chapter 13 series on RNA and protein synthesis. And this is going to be one of our longest episodes of this series because we're going to talk in detail about the process of transcription. Now, if you can remember from the previous screencast from chapter 13, we talked about the central dogma. And the central dogma of biology is you start with DNA, the DNA is transcribed into RNA, and the RNA is transcribed into a protein. So you go from DNA to RNA, RNA to protein, and to go from DNA to RNA is called trans, excuse me, called transcription, and to go from RNA to protein is called translation. So in this one, we're going to talk about transcription, and this is going to be one of the longest in this series I said before. Okay, so first up, let's talk about what is transcription. And transcription is the process in which you make an RNA copy from DNA. So in transcription, you're going to go from DNA to RNA. All right. It's the first step of that central dogma. Now, all forms of RNA are made during this process. And if you can remember right, we have mRNA, which stands for messenger RNA. We have ribosomal RNA, which is going to be found inside the ribosome. And then we're going to have tRNA, which is transfer RNA. And that one's going to be used during translation. So this one, all three of these are made during transcription. But most of the time we talk about transcription, we're going to say we're making uh, RNA. Now right, I want you to focus down here on this picture. Okay. And I really want you to pay attention to antisense and sense strand. Oh, you know what? I got ahead of myself. All right. Uh, transcription. Let me get this written in here. Transcription is done by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. And basically what it says here, remember ASE means you're an enzyme. This is an enzyme that makes the RNA polymer. Uh, it's just like DNA polymerase. It's going to make RNA, but RNA polymerase will also act like helicase. So not only can it make RNA, but it's going to unzip the double helix. All right. So now let's focus down here on this picture. Okay. Here's your DNA. And RNA polymerase is going to go in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. So it's unzipped the DNA, and now it's making RNA, which is this red. So pay attention over here to this key. Okay. Now, it's only going to transcribe, and transcribe means copy. It's only going to transcribe one side or the other. The side that gets transcribed is called the antisense. So that's the template. We're going to make a copy of it. The side that is not being transcribed is called the sense strand. Uh, to me, it sounds like they should flip these names because we're actually going to read, or we're actually going to kind of copy that uh, anti-sense strand. But I, I personally would think they call it the sense, but they don't. So I really want to make sure that you get this clear. Anti-sense gets copied. Sense strand does not. Okay. Now over here, a different RNA polymerase has unzipped the DNA, and it's reading this bottom side, which will make that one the antisense, and up here is the sense strand, which is not. So maybe we'll come back and we'll copy this side one time. All right, I do want you to pay attention right down here. We got this guy. I said I was putting a different color here. Okay, we got promoter. This stuff's in black. This tells you the start of the gene. We're going to get to this in detail a little bit. And then we have the terminator, which is yellow. The terminator will tell you the end of the gene. So here, we started here, and we went this way. I know that's kind of hard to see. And then down here, the promoter was in this one, so we went in this direction. Because RNA polymerase, come back over to this one, RNA polymerase is always a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Just like DNA polymerase, if you remember from replication. Okay, We're going to go over this in more detail. This is just kind of, I'm trying to priming you 
for what's going to happen in the rest of the screencast. All right, next slide. There are three steps to transcription. Initiation, elongation, and termination. Now, I'm going to give you my, away my age here, but back in the 90s, when Adam Sandler was on Saturday Night Live, he had a character called the Cajun Man. And this chapter kind of reminds me of the Cajun Man because everything's going to end with a T-I-O-N. And the Cajun Man would always say stuff like, celebration, concussion. So we have transcription. It's got three um, steps. Initiation, elongation, termination. And then finally, at the end of this chapter, we're going to have mutation. All right. So let's talk about initiation. The word initiation simply means start. So we have to start transcribing this gene. And when we say transcribe, that means RNA polymerase is going to unzip it and copy one side or the other. And remember, we copy the antisense strand. Okay. It's going to start at a DNA sequence like we saw in the previous slide called the promoter. And remember, the promoter is kind of like a, a flashing signal, like on, a, on, a, on an airport, like on the runway. Or you could say like the marquee on a Broadway show. And basically what it's saying is, hey, start here. We want to transcribe here. Come on, RNA polymerase, land here. So promoters signal the beginning of the gene. And remember, RNA polymerase can unzip it just like helicase. There we go. All right, got a picture that'll show you this. Get all rid of all these. <clears throat> and let's go with that color. All right, this area right in here, that's the DNA. And the promoter, which will sit, do the start of the gene, I'm going to color that in green. And then I'm also going to remind you that this here is RNA polymerase P apostrophe A S E. And this here is a little, uh, this is a little molecule. It's called a sigma factor. It kind of helps it bond on it. We're not really going to pay any attention, but it does tell you what that is right down in here. All right, so RNA polymerase is going to bind to the promoter, and when it binds to the promoter, it's going to unzip the DNA like helicase, and it's going to read one side or the other. The side that gets read, remember, it is called the antisense strand, okay? Let me write this over here again so you guys will get a chance to remember this. Antisense strand, okay? This one is going to get copied. by RNA polymerase. There you go. Okay, now the gene here, right in here, that's the coding sequence. It's actually going to code for a protein. So what happens here is, oops, wrong color. Yeah, wrong one again, there we go, red. Is that we're gonna go this direction, and as RNA moves down the gene, it's going to make the RNA. So this little squiggly line right there, that's going to be the RNA. Okay. So initiation is simply RNA polymerase bonds to the promoter. So it's going to bind to promoter. And that is going to be the initiation. Okay. Very simple concept. Just means to get started. I think I got that misspelled right. All right. So there we go. Got it correctly. Okay, get rid of that one. All right, number two. Number two is called elongation. And basically what elongation means is to get longer. And why are we getting longer? Because the RNA polymerase is making the RNA. So the goal of protein synthesis, I'm sorry, the goal of transcription is to make RNA the RNA is really being made during elongation. So this is when the work is getting done. Okay, now remember, the strand of DNA that is being read, or the template strand, that's called the sense strand. Okay, so let's get rid of that. 
All right, so we're going to draw all over this picture. The big purple egg right here, that's RNA polymerase, okay? Right in about this area right in here. In fact, I'm just going to, I'm going to draw it right in there, okay? It's going to be green. That would have been the promoter. So the RNA would have bound here during protein or during initiation. The RNA polymerase is moving in this direction, as you can see by this big black arrow up here. And your RNA um, uh, transcript right here is getting longer because you're making it. So we'll just say getting longer down here. Make that L a little bit better. Now remember, template strand, that's another word for the anti-sense strand. And then the coding strand up here, remember, that's another word for the sense strand. And this is going to keep going for a while, for a while, for a while, until we need to end this. And when we end this, we're going to be at a, the third step, which is called termination. Now, termination simply is a word that means stop. You're eventually going to come to the end of the gene, and you need to stop. And what happens when you get there is that the RNA polymerase is just going to let go. So we're going to get to a very special sequence called the Terminator. That's my best uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger voice, okay? Because you need to stop. So Terminator would be the stopping sequence. So it tells RNAs to stop. So you stop transcription. Okay? All right, now we're going to blow up into this picture, and we're going we're gonna to draw all over this again. Let's find our red color, which will be uh, number two. Okay, you see this white egg? That's the RNA polymerase. You can see it like, written right there. The promoter sequence is green. So we go through initiation. RNA polymerase is going to bind to the promoter. It's going to unzip the DNA. As you can see here, it's beginning to unzip it. And it's going to transcribe one side or the other. We're going to transcribe the bottom strand. So that makes this one. Whoops, let's make that A a little better. better. That's going to be the anti-sense strand. And then obviously the top will be your sense strand. Okay, so that's initiation. You've started, you bonded to the promoter, you've unzipped the DNA, and then you begin the transcription sequence. Next step is elongation. And this is the step where we make the DNA. So here's your RNA transcript getting made. We'll just remember it's getting longer because you're making more of it. And then finally, you're going to come down here to this base sequence that's in red. And that's your terminator. And I'm just going to write term there. And once the RNA polymerase gets to here, it's just going to let go. And you're done. So the DNA is going to zip back up. And now you have your completed RNA transcript you're done, okay? Uh, as you can see here, down here, the RNA polymerase is basic, excuse me, basically letting go, all right? So remember, we've got three, three steps to transcription. Initiation. I misspelled this all the time. Let's try this again. I initiation. It's just like how it sounds. It's ridiculous. Number two elongation, and then finally, if you want to end, termination. There you go. I-E-T. That's the steps to transcription. So there you go. All right. Uh, that'll do it for this episode. Going to be one of the longest in this series. So until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.